In a country changed by COVID, growing inflation, and cultural wars, it should come as no surprise that a great realignment is taking place in politics, too. The Democrat Party, long considered the party of the non-college-educated working middle class in America, has seen the GOP taking its place. The real rank-and-file uh, Democrats on the ground, they're leaving their party in droves because they said, this is unrecognizable. I never signed up for this. I didn't want record high gas prices. I didn't want zero border. I wanted a country. I wanted you know, a shot at the American dream. That's what I wanted. And they see that that's not what it's been about at all. It's the slide has been dramatic. More than 60 years ago, JFK won white voters without a degree by a two to one margin. In 2020, Joe Biden lost those same voters by a two to one margin, a total reversal. The latest poll ahead of the midterms shows the same trend. The GOP holds an overwhelming 61 to 29 percent lead among the white working class. Even so-called middle class champions like Bernie Sanders sees the problem. And the truth is that the middle class of this country is falling further and further behind. Wages are not keeping up with inflation. And Democrats are also starting to lose their grip on the reliable Hispanic vote. The latest NBC News Telemundo poll shows that even though Hispanics still prefer Democrats, 54 percent to 33 percent, that 21 point lead is lower than in the past. Take a look for yourselves. In election cycles over the last 10 years, the lead has dwindled from a whopping 42% a decade ago to today's 21 points. Given the drop, analysts point to Democrats taking the Hispanic vote for granted, especially in these tough economic times, and pandering isn't helping. Jessica Anderson is with Heritage Action for America. The Biden regime is completely out of touch and pandering to Hispanic voters instead of actually getting real about the issues that just like you and I, everyone else in America that we actually care about. And so um, I think they're tired of being treated like a voting block, that it's a one size fits all rubber stamp for the Democratic Party. It is not. Cultural issues are also playing a role. Supporting abortion at any stage has turned off many pro-family Hispanic Catholic voters. You see the Democrats that are passing radical abortion laws in California and Colorado and New York that says that you can kill seven pound babies right up to the point of birth. Um, your average hardworking Hispanic uh, Catholic out there does not approve of that. Your African-American hardworking African-Americans don't approve of that. That's a radical extreme policy, and that's what the Democrat Party is pushing left and right. So while this political realignment is helping the GOP on one hand, it's also reshaping the Democrat Party to a whiter, more elite party. An NBC News poll shows Democrats with a whopping 38-point lead among women with college degrees. That's up 10 points in 2010. Polls show that these more affluent Democrat voters care more about abortion, gun control, and climate change. A trend not lost on candidate Joe Biden when he chose clean energy policy over blue collar jobs in a 2020 debate. As president, would you be willing to sacrifice some of that growth, even knowing potentially that it could displace thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of blue collar workers in the interest of transitioning to that greener economy? The answer is yes. Democratic strategists believe pursuing the Green New Deal and more progressive priorities will help the party with college-educated voters in key suburban battlegrounds. In this election cycle, however, where the economy is the most pressing issue, this political realignment could lead to a midterm derailment. Former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says the middle class is rising up and pushing back. I think those people have all now concluded that a little bit of noise and a little bit of tumult is probably worth it in exchange for a simpler, better life, a life where you can afford the things you want to do for your family, where you don't have the progressive left attacking you at every moment. I think they can see that. So I think they're going to begin to vote for the party that's going to deliver a better life for their families. We get the realigned answers in just a few short weeks. David Brody, CBN News, Washington.